I built this gantry crane about a year ago. I've used it for a lot of projects. And now that I've used it for about a year, I feel confident that I could uh, share how I built it and my results with this design. It's built with two by tens across the top. Those are two, two by 10 by eights, two by 10 by eight feet long and the vertical legs, the 45 degree supports, and the feet are built with two by sixes. The parts list is really straightforward. To build it to these dimensions, um, you need two two by 10 by eights and 11 two by six by tens. Two two by 10 by eights, and 11 two by six by tens. The lumber right now costs about 250 bucks, plus you figure $80 for the casters, and then a chain fall as well. You could build this for around 350 bucks, more or less depending on if you already have fasteners, if you already have a chain fall or casters. This is the trolley I built for the top of the crane. It's two by two angle iron. Uh, I put some bevels in the edges so it can slide across the top easier. Uh, this pin is a inch solid piece of bar and then a large chain goes over the bar with a grade eight bolt. And then the top of the chain fall attaches to the chain. The nice part about this is there have been cases where I've needed to pick up load from either side. And with this type of a trolley, you can slide it across. Also, the width of this plate helps spread out the load over a larger surface area. So if you were just using a pin sitting on top of the wood, Obviously, uh, that puts all the stress in one spot. Whereas with this uh, angle iron, which is probably 3 16 angle iron, the load is spread across over a foot. I think that makes a big difference. Uh, it just keeps, if nothing else, the top of the beams from getting uh, dented in from the pin. It also keeps it from twisting. And again, it does help spread the load across a wider surface area. The rest of the construction of this crane is pretty straightforward. The two beams, the two by tens, are eight feet long at the very top. The vertical feet are three two by sixes. The center two by six goes all the way up to the top and the two outer two by sixes go underneath the beam. They come down to a base, which is a flat two by six, and then two two by sixes to make up the support on the inside and outside. These diagonal supports come up about three feet and go out approximately two. The overall dimension of this is nine feet tall from the concrete to the top of the beam. And the bases are five feet wide. That arrangement has worked out well. The weight is centered in the middle. So uh, the nine tall, five foot wide has been very stable uh, for all the projects I've done. This is built to hold about a thousand pounds. The chain fall that I have is rated at a thousand pounds and the casters uh, are rated at 2000, all four of them, but I'd like to cut that number in half 
uh, for some safety margin. So this, this crane is built to hold a thousand pounds. It could probably go a little bit above that, but overall that's, that's about the number. All the fasteners are GRK fasteners that are typically used for building decks. The nice part about them is there's no pre-drilling and these are all rated the same as like a 5 16 lag bolt. These 45 degree supports at the top come down about two feet down and two feet to the right. And in between the support, I sandwiched another two by six to keep the beams from squeezing together and also help uh, displace some of the loading on the feet. A couple things to look out for if you're going to build one out of wood. Uh, the biggest drawback is the structural, structural uh, integrity of wood itself. So a straight piece of wood is very strong. And in this arrangement, the beam is doing all the work. The feet or the legs are supporting the beam. The problem is with no support at the base, as the wood dries, the legs will twist. There's not many ways around that. Um, you definitely don't want to use a piece like 4x4 four four or 4x6 four six or 6x6 six six for these vertical supports because they'll twist really bad. When you take three 2x6s, you eliminate some of that twist. But even with that type of a construction, I've noticed that in the last year, the feet have rotated. And it's probably about five degrees of rotation on the, the far leg. This leg has stayed pretty true. I tried to take out some of that twist a few months back by adding shims at the top. And that did do a good job of uh, getting rid of some of the twist, but you're always going to have it. You just have to be cognizant of that when you're building it with wood. Uh, with metal, obviously that's not an issue. So this is definitely one drawback. But from my application, the benefits of a wood crane uh, definitely outweigh the extra cost and uh, time to build a metal gantry crane. I mentioned earlier in the video that this could be built for around $350 or so. There's a lot of different factors that go into that. There are metal gantry cranes available uh, from Harbor Freight, for example, that are usually around like 600 bucks or so. But on those, you're, you're relying on uh, quality control that might be questionable. At least with a wood crane that you build yourself, you know your own uh, craftsmanship and your attention to detail. You really are just limited by the materials that you choose. And then lastly, if there's one thing I would suggest is uh, I think you're better off finding a used chain fall over a new imported chain fall. This chain fall here is rated at uh, half of a ton, a thousand pounds. And when I've had close to that on it, you realize how much stress the brake and the gears and the clutches are in uh, on a chain fall. I wouldn't want to trust a thousand pounds to an imported chain fall, me personally. I know other people have and have had good luck, but that is definitely one thing I think I would uh, Try to find uh, here domestically is a good chain fall. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I've had this for about a year. So uh, if you have any other questions about it or would like to build one yourself and have any uh, concerns, please let me know. And uh, I'll end with one thing. Uh, make sure if you do build one of these yourself, 
Don't put <laughs> yourself underneath the load of the crane because even if it's worked right a hundred times, it just takes one thing to go wrong. And uh, you definitely don't want to be the thing between the ground and whatever you're lifting up. So please make sure you uh, apply an element of safety whenever you're using something like this. So again, thanks for watching and good luck with your own project.